The streets of Tehran viewed from above, swollen and undulating, as Iran bid its farewell to Qasem Soleimani, all things to all people, spymaster, military tactician, a national hero to many, a murderer to others. Either way, the impact of his assassination is rippling right across the Middle East. On the ground, there were tears from Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, his cherished lieutenant dead at the hands of the Americans. And from Soleimani's daughter, there were promises of revenge. My father's martyrdom has led to a greater awakening of people's consciousness, she said. It will bring about dark days for them and flatten their spider webs. Soleimani had plenty of his own spider webs under his belt, the chief strategist behind Iran's involvement in Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, and beyond. Among his latest acts, were said to be the brutal crackdowns on the protests that have grown up against corrupt governments in Baghdad and Tehran. The streets now, though, are echoing with chants of death to America. At NATO headquarters today in Brussels, calls to calm the situation. The alliance's mission in Iraq uncertain after Iraqi parliamentarians demanded U.S. troops and their allies leave. At our meeting today, allies called for restraint and de-escalation. A new conflict would be in no one's interest. It's still too early to judge just what the fallout from this assassination will be, but Iran will be working very hard to transform Soleimani's death into a call to arms. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Beirut.